YouTube, Eddie Gray here. Smoking my Dansk pipe that I got some time back. This is only like the third time I've smoked this pipe. And I think I did the unveil. What is this called? A Dansk. What? Distinct. Well, eyesight's getting bad. Dansk Distinct Pipe. I got this uh, on eBay for like 15 bucks. Had never been smoked. I'm sure it's from the 70s or 80s. Nice green acrylic stem, kind of a swirled green. I think it looks really funky and cool. And my concern was, because the bowl was coated, that it was going to be Brylon, which I'd always heard smoked hot. Well, I'm smoking Englishes in it, and it smokes really well. Very cool smoker. But really, there's the rub, because I'm not super fond of English blends on the whole. So I don't have too many pipes devoted to English blends. And the ones that I do devote are typically cheaper pipes. Or pipes that I don't like as well <laughs> as others. Although I really do like this one. It was a cheaper pipe. Um, getting down to the end of it. The bowl in this tapers. It's kind of like a, the end of a... <clears throat> It, well, it follows the shape of that bowl. So it uh, is kind of like the end of a torpedo cigar at the bottom. This just goes to a tip. <clears throat> but in it today, I'm smoking some GLP's Maltese Falcon. And I do believe this is the first time I've smoked this. I cracked the tin about a month ago and just, just to smell it, and then I jarred it. Because I've had so much new stuff to, to smoke lately, I can't really smoke my regular stuff. Um, oh, come on. My old reliable refillable butane lighter's been giving me hassles, the flame that max is just little, and uh, I think I'm about to go buy me some Bix <laughs> and be done with it. Because you don't smoke the lighter. That's what they say about guitars. You don't you don't play the case, so don't spend a bunch on it. I think I'm gonna stick with that for my lighter philosophy as well. Go the old bit. And I'm pretty much down to the end of this, but it, it really did smoke super well the whole time I wasn't making a video. You guys do believe me, right? <laughs> talk a little bit today about, um, no, that is a shopping list. Here's what I want to talk about. I made some notes for this video. How about that? I want to talk about Latakia and Orientals. Um, <clears throat> I'm still a little confused as to Latakia blends and Oriental blends. As I said, on the whole, I'm not a big fan of, of English blends, and my assumption is because I'm not a big Latakia fan. But then again, there are blends I really like, like Early Morning Pipe that have Latakia, Mississippi River, Plum Pudding, uh, Frog Morton on the Town. So my assumption has been, based on that, that as long as there's some other agent to tame the Latakia, 
that I'll enjoy it more. Um, and typically that trend, that seems to be uh, Orientals for me. But what's confusing to me is that a lot of people say, I can't stand Orientals. I love Latakia, but I can't stand Orientals. They're too flowery or what have you, but I don't get that from Orientals, at least not the blends that I've tried. McClellan Orientals are fantastic. Anything that I've tried with Orientals in it tends to smoke, it tends to be a better smoke for me than just like straight Latakia Virginias or, or you know, what have you. But what I think is funny is this, uh, uh, what is this, Maltese Falcon from GLPs? It has Latakia, Oriental, and Virginia. And Frogmorton on the town has Latakia, Oriental, and Virginia. But they smell different, they smoke different. And I tend to prefer the Frogmorton on the town. Um, with this GLPs, uh, I can taste a lot of Kia, I can taste the Orientals, or at least what my palate deciphers as a lot of Kia and Orientals, and to a much lesser extent I can taste the Virginias, uh, but all three of those are, uh, for lack of a better word, they're muted when I started this smoke. They're kind of gaining momentum towards the end of the bowl, but you know, I've tried other blends that as soon as you light up, it's like, pow, Latakia right in the kisser, uh, or Orientals the same way. Um, this wasn't that way. Um, it was just kind of a muted, like I, I kind of want all the, the pieces of the blend to come to light, to shine, and do what they do best. Um, this blend's not really like that. It's, it's actually a blend of everything. But the longer I smoked it, the more this, um, what I would call an acrid taste, has been rising in, in the smoke. And that's what I don't like about Latakia blends, or at least what I perceive to be the Latakia. It could be the Orientals. I don't know. Um, because here's my question, is um, are there different kinds of Latakia? Does it make a significant difference as to what company produced and grew, what region the Latakia grew in, uh, what method it was produced in, what company produced it, um, are there different kinds of Latakia and do different uh, tobacco blenders use different kinds of Latakia and that's why their blends taste so drastically different. Cornell and Deal taste incredibly different from McClellan. And I wonder if, if that's the case. I don't know. So I'm kind of asking the community about that. Same goes for ori Orientals. Is it because of the different kinds of Orientals? Uh, the different regions they're grown in, the different companies that, that produce them, blah, blah, blah. Um, maybe this is a whole new section of, of tobacco knowledge that I need to study up on because I really feel like I'm in the dark here as far as picking a blend or blends that I personally prefer smoking. Um, I can tell you I do not like that acrid taste. Um, people love Black House, but as soon as I lit up Hearth and Home's Black House, that acrid taste was right there, just boom, and I did not like it at all. Um, so I gifted a, probably half of that. I've still got maybe less than half of it I've still got. Uh, I only smoked it once and I was like, nope, I'm done with it. But I want to keep a little bit of it to come back to. Um, 
But that, that's kind of what I got uh, right now at the moment. Later on today, I'm going to smoke some Key Largo, uh, which is Virginia Oriental on Latakia with a little bit of cigar leaf. And that'll be my first uh, cigar leaf blend that I've tried. Uh, so that'll be interesting. And I'm going to smoke some Frogmorton on the town to compare with uh, this Maltese Falcon. Um, I can't remember who, it, when I did this unveiling, I asked, you know, what would you guys smoke in this pipe? And um, I said it kind of reminded me of Orientals, probably because McClellan's Orientals blends have green labels. And that just kind of stuck in my brain. But um, somebody mentioned, hey, just smoke Frog Morton in it because of the green, you know, froggy blends. Uh, and I have been doing that for the most part, but I've kind of just decided, well, I'm just going to smoke or anything with Orientals in this pipe. Um, and all the Frog Mortons, because some of them don't have Orientals. But anyway, uh, I'll have to look back on the comments and see which one of you guys uh, made that suggestion. But I did stick with it, and I uh, just wanted you to know that. Well, I think this bowl is done. I'm going to go do something semi-productive and come back and smoke later. Might make another video, and I will chat with y'all later on. Have a good one.